Hey guys, I just want to let you guys know that I have partnered up with Fairdesk and I'm going to be doing my future copy trades there. So if you guys want to head over there and get access to my free swing trades, which by the way, have been going great. And if you want to follow me, all you have to do is sign up with the link in the description, head over to copy trade, search for Mickey, M-I-K-I, and then press enter and then you'll be able to find me right here and then copy my trades for free. Overall, I did a few test trades, made a little bit of money. And then there's only 60 people available, so feel free to sign up as soon as you can. Peace. Hello, everyone. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and making some really good trades. And let's get right into the analysis because we just printed a new weekly candle and I do want to cover some price action and some potential moves that, be, that could be coming in this week's trading. All right, now let's take a look at Bitcoin to start it off as we always love to take a look at that BTC and Bitcoin has been consolidating and chopping sideways for quite a few weeks now, almost like two weeks I think after this major drop, we have just been chopping sideways. We saw a big pump in it and then a reversal on August 1st and August 2nd. And now right now Bitcoin is really you know holding in to add support right around 29,000. if this level were to break then your next level that you would want to take a look at is 28,000. but i would not put it out of the question that if the traditional markets keep reversing towards the downside then it's possible that bitcoin could come to the lower end of 27,500. and again this would be this upsloping trend line that we have right here let me just make sure we're on the log scale there we go so that would bring us to around 27,500, right right about there again depending on when you make contact uh, the price could change so feel free to draw this trend line yourselves and just keep a close eye on it as we could tag it again there's no guarantees that we are going to tag it that's why i'm in currently in a position right now on bitcoin and let's just get take a look at market not sorry not market server but the discord actually book, booking some nice wins here up 23 percent on hayden's gmt trade so if you guys want to get access to these trades in real time we were banking some nice profits on cfx and ave as well and again obviously it's not always wins we actually saw mike take a hit this weekend trying to short shiv which was unfortunately pumping like crazy and he, he took a bit of a 20 percent loss but overall not a bad weekend now let's take a look here and we'll go over to market cipher so market cipher on the daily time frame we have a bit of a green dot right here and you have a higher low on the momentum wave so that's nice to see uh, what we really want to see is that weekly flip but again the weekly just printed a new candle it's looking a little bit less bearish right the dual bend strength index has been reduced with a 16 and a minus 3 before we have it a 17 and a minus 5 so things were looking pretty grim but at the moment you still have increasing green money flow which is something that i like to see and you got the momentum waves going down but the view up is a little bit extended here and it could be getting ready to reverse back up towards the upside okay so just keep an eye on that and if bitcoin does make a move it could be coming in in, in this week or maybe next week but overall i think it's going to happen sooner or later sooner sorry sooner than later and taking a look at wave edge we have had two green crosses that have you know signal a potential long position in bitcoin and again we have yet to see that but overall if you take a look at the macd the momentum is really starting to slow down here and you could be seeing a potential buy opportunity coming in but by the time the magni the macd signals a buying opportunity the move has already started so you want to get in before that again i am currently long bitcoin full disclosure and we'll see if bitcoin gets a pump towards the upside or a dump towards the downside okay let's move on here and let's take a look at the s p 500 and again taking a look at the s p we hot we got a bit of a down week uh on the you know the last week on especially on friday and thursday we saw a pretty good amount of significant amount of selling towards the downside at the moment the futures are green you can see that the nasdaq is actually leading the pack at the moment up over 0.48 percent we'll have to see the reaction on the monday open uh, but overall you know things are looking still very bullish you know we're in a strong bull trend every there's lots of people out there ready to ready to buy this market so thinking that we're going to crash right away it might not happen you know we had we got a big dip in the rsi but no not that much of a significant dip in the in the price action so keep a close eye on it again if this market wants to go up it could go up significantly more right now you're getting some consolidation in the russell 2000 
Uh, let's just take a look at Wave Edge, not Wave Edge, Market Cypher here on the S&P 500. I like to take a look at the weekly candles. Uh, there we go. So we got another red, actually we got a red dot uh, last week on the S&P 500. But let's take a look at the new weekly candle that we just got. So last week we got a red dot uh, with an 11 and a 1. And now we have a 12 and a 1. So we could potentially be getting ready to reverse the trend in the S&P. Is it going to happen right away? Absolutely not. It does not mean that this is going to reverse immediately. We'll have, we'll have to see how the week closes. But for the time being, it is a more it, it is more of a bearish candle at the moment. You know, you have uh, you're you're really extended in these markets, and we are significantly due for a pullback. Apple got a very big down day the other day, and that's probably the reason why the market started to sell off. It actually closed at 181.99, breaking the all the previous all time highs as support. Unable to hold it, your next support level is going to be at 179, 179.96. And after that, you're going to have support right here at 176. So again, still a lot of support to come in. Nothing's going to crash in one direction. You are oversold intraday, like the four hour and the one hour and the one hour on Apple are extremely oversold. So again, you're probably going to see these dips being bought up pretty significantly. Uh, let's take a look at the Nasdaq weekly time frame. Yep, a 14 in the minus three now. The Russell 2000. The Russell's not looking that too not that bad. Just an eight and a two. Again, it's just starting its uptrend at the moment. You already you already see you are starting to see a good amount of green money flow come in. And I believe the Dow Jones has a, a bit of a red candle as well, although not as bearish as the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq. I think tech led this rally now. Now you're probably going to see pullback, and you're going to see small caps start to run. Okay, and let's just finish off by taking a look at natural gas because natural gas just opened another weekly candle as well. And I just want to see how that gas is going to be looking. So let's just take a look at the weekly time frame on that gas. So again, that gas printed a red dot here. Um, there we go. I want to look at the future. So a red dot last week, and we actually didn't see that much downside. And now we have a 17 and a minus five looking increasingly bearish for natural gas. You have increasing red money flow on the weekly time frame. However, what I want to point out is that the daily is looking quite good at the moment. You have a green dot here, so things could reverse back up towards the upside. You still got green money flow on the daily and the weekly time frame. Sorry, not the weekly. The monthly time frame is looking extremely bullish with a potential bottom being put in the, in that gas. And again, what I want to see, want to, want to point out as well is that you know oil has been on a huge rally towards the upside here up over 24 percent in only let's take a look here 40 days so again that's an extreme rally and if NACS is going to perform once you see you know maybe oil start to cool off and consolidate then you're probably going to see natural gas start to take off significantly but we'll have to see that but for the time being i, li I like what i'm seeing you start or you are seeing accumulation at these levels and if natural gas is going to take off it's probably going to happen pretty soon Anyways, that's enough for tonight. Hope, to, hope you guys uh, like this video. And if you guys enjoy it, stick around, like and subscribe, and join the Discord. Love you all. Peace.